how involved they yes, are. Well, There's let me Megan. Tell you, is this sweeter the third works. time around just to do this on home ice? You know, they say it never hurts at the finish line. Right. It's like it's like every time you come here, you re relive that moment. It is, it's a very special moment for everyone in the organization. I'm so proud of the players and everyone, you know. And then I was so happy at 77 years for the fans here in Chicago that we could do this for them. After such a long drought and then three cups in six years, is this a dynasty now? I'm not sure if it's a dynasty, but I'll tell you, with a hard cap, it just shows you the brilliance of Stan Bowman and his hockey operations and what he's done. I don't think people realize how hard he's worked on it, and he's worked on this right from training camp. What makes this core and this team so special? I mean, night in, night out, they're so even keeled, confident, and look at what they've accomplished. I think it all starts with the leadership. Obviously, with, with, with Jonathan Taves, I mean, it stems from there. You have a great locker room, and you don't have anyone in that locker room you wouldn't invite to your house for Thanksgiving dinner. Did you always know it was special, or was it the few pieces, the trade deadline? I mean, when did you know that you'd be standing on this side? Oh, I thought I, my father passed away in 07, and then in 08 you realized, you know, that year was special. We didn't make we didn't make the playoffs, but you, there was a spark. You knew something was very, very special. And obviously, some of the fans did too, and they started coming back. So that first year we had 10, only 10 sellouts, which is more than the previous five years combined. How fitting when that Kane and Duncan Keith are the two that score tonight, right? Well, you know, they, it's, it sounds like cliche, but in the big games, is always your best players. And then you had Jonathan Taves that did, was, was was not going to lose a faceoff. He'd look at those face-off percentages, it really was something. When the Hawks win the face-offs, they usually win the game. When you see the emotion right here, Marion Hosa just crying over there, Kimo Tiemann and waited forever for this. What goes through your mind? Well, I, I went to Marion at the end and I said, thank you. He was, he's the first player that had complete faith in us coming as a free agent. And he was the one that sought us out when he was coming from Detroit. It, uh, you know, Stan, because his agent talked to us and had permission for Detroit to talk to us a few days before the June 30th deadline. And he wanted to come here because he had complete faith in the leadership.